Sasha here from NetbookNews.com. It's the last day of Uplink 2010 in beautiful sunny San Diego, as you've just seen. And we are on the top of the Hyatt. That's how it's called, Nicole, yes, right? Yes, it is. Uh, 40th floor. Um, we've got a new device to unbox. Um, that's the HTC Flow TV. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this uh, mobile TV set that we just got from Qualcomm and let's see how it works. Okie dokie, let's see. Well, I have to admit that we've been already playing around with it a little bit. So we reboxed it and now we're going to unbox it again. But uh, that's the device uh, 3.5 inch touchscreen, glossy. As you will be able to see, but you know what? Let's let's take a look at the accessory first. Uh, there's a little sleeve, um, terms and condition, quick start guide, and we have a little headset here. PSU with various connectors, and that looks like a USB cable and connector. Now, for the device itself, um, over here you can not switch it on. I think it's, sh it's showing you the battery status. Over here you can switch it on, as you can see. And uh, we have volume control. What about this button here? It's mute. Oh, that, exactly. That's the mute button, the connector for the USB cable. Uh, nothing on the other side, besides a couple of speakers on the back and then this little stand, which is really handy. I love this idea. It's very solid. It won't break. Well, it could break if you want to, but it's great, you know, just to stand it on the desk and uh, that works out pretty well. It's very light and uh, but let's switch it on first. So this Flow TV is uh, streaming a 300 kilobit stream at a resolution of 300 by 200, I think 320 by 240. You know the funny thing is, let's switch it on and now it's... Is there a battery? Mm -hmm. One bar. I was saying something earlier on the screen. You know what? The good thing is, we ran out of battery, but we got another device. <laughs> always, always have a backup. Let's get mine. Here we go, while well, Nicole is still showing you beautiful San Diego. Yeah. Over there you can see, by the way, the USS Midway, oh, which yeah, is now a museum. Okay, let's go back to the device. All right. Jeez, so we are so well, well prepared again. <laughs> okay, that's my Flow TV. And this one should work, hopefully. Battery, one bar. Oh no! Yeah, I haven't used mine. Here we person, go. So. Um, unfortunately, again, a glossy display. Yeah. Why for a mobile device? Look at this. That's me. That's crazy. Um, the boot up time is quite long. It takes a while. Um, I think the device cost $199 mm -hmm. and then you need to have a monthly subscription for $14.99. I think that was the price. Um, while it's still booting up, maybe Nicole wants to show you more of the Bay Area here. So here we go. It's, uh, it's obviously very sunny in San Diego. This is the other tower of the Hyatt. That's the tower that I stayed in for uh, Uplink. Thank you Qualcomm for sponsoring this. Okay, Lovely. here we go. No, we're okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I agree. I agree. I agree. Oh, here we go. So I can switch the channels over here. And as you can see, we have a couple of paid channels. Oops. Okay. Finally, we made it happen. Uh, the battery <laughs> was completely done, uh, so I connected it uh, over the USB cable with my computer. <coughs> Sorry. And what I want to show you are the different channels. We have ABC. By the way, these are all mobile channels. So actually, we've been visiting 
their headquarter for all this Flow TV stuff over here in San Diego, um, where they're arranging the whole broadcasting. So these are special mobile channels from ABC, CBS, we have a Fox, ES and NBC to go, MSNBC, Comedy Central, ESPN, MTV, Nickelodeon, that's a Disney Channel, another Fox News, CNN, whatever crackle is, to flow, Adult Swim, and also a special UFC paid TV channel. So um, that's the quality, as you can see, 320 by 240. It's uh, not that brilliant, let's say it like this, but uh, for a 3.5 inch device, that probably works out. The question is, why do I need to carry another device around with me? I would like to see this platform in smartphones or in tablets. Yeah, but the, the, the network in the US isn't really strong enough to support this kind of thing. In Europe, you're good to go, but I don't think over here can handle it. <laughs> well, as you can see, it can handle it. I mean, it's broadcasting. Yeah, but it's Th over, that's, not uh, that's not data traffic that yeah. is getting generated. Yeah. Right, that, that goes over the air. I think there are about 40 or 50 US cities that are supporting it right oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that, 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 that's not a lot. Um, I think they're also doing some, some tests in Korea and also in Taiwan uh, with this device. It's just a new technology or let's say a new platform that Qualcomm is supporting. Um, they've been showing a couple of devices, but this is the smallest one. It's, it's built by HTC in Taiwan. And yeah, that's the Flow TV with a bunch of channels. Unfortunately, we have to give it back. Oh no, why unfortunately? Because we can't even watch TV when we are uh, in Taiwan. And let's switch to another channel. That's not looking too bad. It's just so glossy, all I can see is your yeah. face. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah. Uber glossy. That's the Flow TV from HTC and I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com and that's wonderful San Diego. Thanks for watching.